Thursday second video for you is first your story is from Volaita where a court has ordered the release of political prisoners on bail. We know that Professor Asif Adajo and several others have been in prison. Today people protested as well in court premises against the arrest of political prisoners in Volaita. Second news story is about Ethiopian journalist uh, Tamasgen Dasselin who was arrested uh, more than a week ago. He is in police custody. His brother says that uh, Tamasgen Dasselin was beaten by security officials. A third news story is from City zone of Somali region. A public mobilization is underway. We could see protests in a city zone. We could see closure of Ethiopia Djibouti Road. A city zone administrator resigned. I did a video on that yesterday. Now, some other officials are also speaking against Mustafa Omar's government. Uh, this uh, tension is building after a far Somali clash. And lastly, Gatacho lashed at EU today. What did he say? Why is he angry? What did EU delegation do which made Gatacho so angry? Firstly, your first new story is from Volaita. We know that Volaita people have been struggling for a separate region for years. But last year, Ethiopia created Southwest region separate from SNNPR. Volaita people are still part of SNNPR. And Volaita intellectuals, uh, journalists, artists, uh, uh, they have been put in prison. Professor Asif Wadajo was uh, in prison, served in the past as well, and once again he's in prison. And today, a court in Volaita ordered the release of Volaita political prisoners. Volaita High Court met in Sodo City today and the people uh, not stormed, we should not say stormed, uh, people protested inside uh, Volaita High Court premises. It was a peaceful protest for the release of Volaita people. The court met and the court decided to grant bail to political prisoners. So court has ordered the release of these prisoners for 10,000 Ethiopian birds each. So each of these prisoners will uh, submit uh, security bonds worth uh, 10,000 Ethiopian birds. Now, uh, so far, uh, these prisoners have not been released. Uh, but who will be released? What are their names? Firstly, Professor Asif Adajo, who is a Volaita intellectual. We know that uh, three days ago, uh, his wife uh, appealed for the release of her husband. He released a video message calling for help uh, from Volaita people. Secondly, uh, Gobeze Goa, who is vice president of Volaita People's Democratic Front. Thirdly, Simon uh, Tadame, who is Inat Party's uh, official from Volaita. Fourthly, Tajora Lambabo, he is a journalist uh, working for Oromia Media Network. And Akililo Edole, who is an artist. Court has ordered the release of these persons and some others too. Question is, will these prisoners be released or not? Because we have seen that in Oromia, that uh, courts uh, several times in the past ordered the release of OLF leaders, uh, but still they were in prison. Uh, they were not released. Uh, some were, uh, some courts ordered release of some OLF leaders on bail. Some were acquitted, but still they were kept in prison. Let's see what happens in Volaita. Uh, 
will these prisoners be released? In coming videos, we'll update you about this uh, important development from Volaita. Uh, second story is about Ethiopian journalist uh, uh, Tamaskan Dasalin, uh, editor of Fiti magazine, arrested more than a week ago. Uh, he is in police custody. He uh, remained in prison several times in the past as well. Uh, in the last uh, one decade or so, uh, several times he was thrown in prison during EPRDF era. He was uh, imprisoned too. So once again, he is in prison. And his brother today said that uh, Tamaskan Dasalin was beaten by security forces. Name of his brother is Tariko Dasalin. Tariko has spoken with some news outlets, including Voice of America, Amharic, and he says that he went to visit uh, his brother uh, in prison. Uh, and there, there was 10 meter distance between the prisoners and uh, the visitors. Uh, so it was almost impossible to communicate. Uh, so and uh, Tamaskan Dasalin objected uh, that he was not able to listen to his family members because the distance were too much, 10 meter distance. Uh, security officials did not cooperate. Instead, they started beating Tamaskan Dasalin. He was beaten. Now, if Tamaskan Dasalin can be beaten by a security official, imagine what would be happening to other uh, prisoners, other persons, uh, other people arrested in recent days. Tamaskan Dasalin is uh, a well-known journalist and he is being beaten. I think human rights bodies, human rights commission of Ethiopia must visit the prisons, the police stations where these journalists, activists are being kept. And the, the commission has been visiting these places in the past as well. And it has been calling for the release of these prisoners. But it should at least uh, visit the prisons, the police stations uh, to uh, see uh, the conditions in which these prisoners are being kept. A third new story is from city zone of the Somali region. A public mobilization is underway. We could see demonstrations in coming hours. We know that city zone administrator resigned yesterday. Did a video on that. Some other city zone officials are considering resigning too. Uh, they are not happy with Mustafa Umar's Somali regional government about the ongoing Afar Somali clashes for more than a week in Adato uh, and other places uh, in city as well. There has, have been clashes between Afars and Somalis. And uh, uh, the administrator of city zone resigned uh, two days ago. Now three other uh, zonal officials uh, could resign. Their names are firstly, uh, first uh, person who could resign is uh, Umar. He is vice uh, head of vice chairman of agricultural bureau of city zone. Secondly, Roble, who is... Uh, 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 Vice uh, Chairman of uh, Information and Communication Department and thirdly Ali Samre who works in Conflict and Border uh, Management Department. So these three Somali regional government officials from Siti zone are considering resignations. Uh, they are not happy with uh, Mustafa Umar government's policy about Afar Somali clashes. They say that people in Siti are being killed, civilians are dying, and Somali regional government is not doing what is required to stop these clashes. We know that uh, three Kabbalahs have been disputed territories between Somali and Afar regions. Uh, the three Kabbalahs are uh, Undufo, uh, Adaito, and Garbaise. And we know that these 
Kabyles are mostly inhabited by Somalis, but they're part of Afar. Uh, and now public mobilization is underway in Siti. We could see closure of Ethiopia Djibouti Road. Some sources say that uh, angry people are planning closure of this key road which links Ethiopia with Djibouti, which is uh, used for uh, imports and exports. Uh, by Ethiopia because Ethiopia relies on Djibouti's ports. This road is used for transportation of imports and exports. In coming hours, we'll try to update you about the ongoing uh, unrest and tensions in Siti zone of Somali region. Lastly, viewers, Gata Choreda Tigray presidential spokesperson is lashing out at European Union delegation uh, which is visiting Ethiopia. Why is he angry? What is he saying? An EU delegation and EU ambassadors were briefed by Ethiopian Minister of Justice in Addis Ababa yesterday. The briefing was about accountability measures taken uh, about human rights abuses which were committed in northern Ethiopia, uh, means uh, Tigray uh, and Amhara as well. The briefing was given by Minister of Justice and uh, EU delegation appreciated uh, Minister of Justice briefing. EU delegation yesterday issued a statement. It said that uh, the briefing was very informative and it shows that uh, efforts are being made to hold people accountable for human rights abuses committed in northern uh, Ethiopia. So it appreciated Ministry of Justice of Ethiopia. Now, Gata Cho says in his statement that EU is congratulating those who have committed atrocities. He says that these persons, uh, the government officials, they are authors of uh, human rights abuses themselves. Government is involved in human rights abuses in Tigray and the government is being appreciated for accountability. The government should be held accountable. The government of Ethiopia, federal government, their officials, they should be held accountable for what happened in Tigray. Instead, they are being appreciated that uh, they are holding uh, people accountable for atrocities in Tigray. Did we see any real accountability for human rights abuses committed in Tigray, Amhar and Afar? No. So far, we have not seen people held accountable. We have seen only inquiry reports, investigation reports uh, by Amnesty International, Human Rights Watch, uh, Tigray regional bodies, Ethiopian uh, government, Ethiopian Human Rights Commission, Ethiopian Human Rights Council, uh, then uh, UN Human Rights bodies as well. Just reports have been released. But Accountability has not started uh, and all parties are involved in these human rights abuses. So accountability can only be ensured by some independent body which has a trust of all the parties. If an independent body starts investigations, believe me, all parties will be held accountable. But government, Ethiopian government is mainly obstructing uh, the start of independent investigations. Uh, we know that uh, Human Rights Council, Union Human Rights Council formed an inquiry commission to investigate human rights abuses committed uh, during Tigray conflict. But this commission was opposed by Ethiopian government. Funding for this commission was opposed by Ethiopian government.